So you're interested in saving more money. Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna be talking through the 13 things that I did to save as much money as possible. Because as most of you know, I currently save over a thousand pounds a month and I couldn't have done it without some of these things that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronia and on this channel, we talk about things to do with money, your career and having a positive mindset for success. So if that does sound great to you, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now most of you know that one of the biggest things that helped me to save as much money as possible is actually paying myself first. So I'm not actually going to mention that in this video but if you do want to know more I have done a previous video talking about that in a bit more detail so of course I'll be sure to put the link up here and in the description below. I did think it was worth mentioning though because paying myself first was an absolute game changer for me and essentially what I mean is that as soon as I get paid I will transfer money straight into my savings account before I even spend it. So guys if there's one thing you take from this video pay yourself first. Okay, Bronya, I promise to always pay myself first. So now can we get on with the tips? So the first thing I do to save money is never auto renewing my insurance. So whether that be car insurance or home insurance, you will never see me auto renew it unless I get a good deal. So usually what will happen is I'll get the insurance and that would last about a year. Then I'll get a letter telling me that I don't need to do anything because they're going to renew it automatically. But then I see that they actually increase the premium. So basically I'm just paying for the convenience of not having to switch companies. Now, whenever they send me quotes, I I can always tell that they're just more expensive and they're just not competitive. So for me, I just make the effort to cancel it and then I will look for a good deal somewhere else. Because usually when companies are seeking new customers, they're more likely to make the effort to actually give you good deals. I mean, these businesses wanna make money. So if they can attract as many new customers as possible, but then the majority of those customers end up auto renewing their insurance, they're essentially making even more money. Now, I think most people would rather have the convenience because maybe it seems like it's just too much effort to shop around. Oh look, my auto renewal letter came. Um, why is it £100 more expensive to auto renew? But can I be bothered to look somewhere else though? but I found that I can potentially save hundreds of pounds just for taking the time to look for those deals. So it's up to you whether you want to take that action. So the second way I save money, which is similar to the previous point, but it's actually shopping around. So when I'm looking at things like insurance, I always try to use comparison sites and I won't just use one, I will use multiple, but that's just because you won't find all the companies on one comparison site. But to be honest, I know that I'm extra. So I think most people could deal with just using one comparison site. But the reason why I use it is because you'll actually find so many different companies offering the same or very similar products. So of course, I wanna take advantage and get the best deal possible. So the main sites I tend to use are Compare the Market and MoneySupermarket.com. And also for some things, there is MoneySavingExpert.com. And of course, I can put those links in the description below for you. The third thing I use to save money is actually buying memberships yearly instead of monthly. Now, I think I have mentioned this in one of my saving videos, but this is really important when it comes to things like my gym memberships. So most of you guys will know that rather than paying direct debit, I will usually pay for the full year. And that's not just for the gym, that also includes home insurance and my car insurance and breakdown cover as well. And there's two reasons why I do that. The first one is usually it's actually cheaper to buy for the year rather than the month. And the second reason I guess is mainly to do with psychology, but I feel so much better once I know that I've paid for something for the year and I don't have to worry about it for the next 12 months. But guys, when it comes to things like gym memberships, just make sure you know you're actually going to use it because I haven't used it for a few months. I mean, a lot of you guys will know that I haven't actually been to the gym since lockdown. All right, I'm ready to get my workout done. Oh no, it's raining. Eh, I'll go tomorrow. But I did calculate that actually the amount of times I went to the gym before lockdown means that I've actually still saved money. So it's still okay, guys. So the fourth tip I wanna give you is actually saving money when it comes to food shopping. And by that, I mean that I actually buy a lot of frozen food. Now for me, when I buy frozen food, I do tend to find that it's cheaper compared to fresh food. Plus obviously it's more likely to last longer as well. And it also means that a lot of the times I don't end up wasting food because sometimes I find that when I have fresh food and I leave it in the fridge, of course, if I don't eat it in time, it goes off. And of course you guys probably you already know exactly where I get this from. So the next thing I do is actually having a plan when I'm going to make a purchase. Now for me, this really helps when I'm buying clothes and it actually just stops me from impulse buying because I'm not gonna lie guys, if you're looking for a pair of jeans and it costs 20 pounds, but whilst you're shopping, you also see a dress that's 50% off on sale for 30 pounds. You didn't actually save 30 pounds, you spent 30 pounds. Okay, so I need the jacket. My budget is 50 pounds, let's go. Oh wait, there's a shoe sale. Come to think of 
admit, I do need new trainers. So guys, I always try to plan exactly what I want to buy and how much it's likely to cost. The sixth way I've been able to save money is buying a refurbished phone outright. Guys, you always see new iPhones coming out like every single year. So do you really need to change your phone every single year? Do you? For me, phones are very similar to cars. They can depreciate in value like crazy, especially once a new model comes out. So for me, it's just not worth it. My principle is if my phone is fine, then I will keep it for as long as I can. So I won't change it until I've got no choice. And again, when I'm buying a new phone, I really don't care. I will fully just buy a refurbished phone because for me, not having a brand new phone just really does not bother me. Again, I can potentially save hundreds of pounds just for buying a refurbished phone. The next thing I do to save money is eating at home. Guys, it's not every day that we have to go to restaurants. Now I know I definitely preached about this in one of my saving videos where I was talking about ways I currently save whilst being in a relationship. Guys, rather than going out to eat, you can eat at home. So again, of course that link will be up here for you and in the description below. But guys, get a few candles, napkins, you could even have a bit of music in the background and you're basically in a restaurant. Again, I mentioned this before, but supermarkets do some great dining deals. Or you could use the opportunity to just make your own. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes the satisfaction that you have when you've really taken time to cook a meal is just wonderful. Now the eighth thing I do to save money is try to find vouchers whenever I purchase something. So whether it's a product, fast food or service, I am always on the lookout for voucher codes. So for example, a good website I'll use is vouchercodes.co.uk. And guys, they have voucher codes for so many things. Hey, should we order food? Sure, let me look for a voucher first. Okay, but do it quickly. <gasps> Let's go bowling. Sounds good, but I'm not going anywhere without my vouchers. Great. Now guaranteed I can't get a voucher for everything, but I will definitely search for it as much as I can first. Again, maybe I'm just extra. The next thing I do to save money is limiting the amount of subscriptions I have. Well, actually I don't have any, so yes, I know I'm boring. But if I did, I would not be paying for Netflix, Disney Plus and Hulu all at the same time. I would probably just pick one and be done with it. Um, excuse me, Veronia, I need a variety. I can't just be on Netflix, okay? Look, you'll be surprised at how much those monthly costs start to add up the more subscriptions you buy. So again, for me, I would just be content with one. Now, number 10 is if I'm purchasing something and I can't use a computer, comparison site, then I will actually look at the price of those products in different stores first. So if I needed to purchase a product and let's say I needed to buy a new phone case, then I'll try to look at as many sites as possible. So for example, I might go to Amazon first, then I might check out eBay and maybe I'll even check out Argos too. And this is just so I know I'm getting the best value for money. Now I'm not saying that I need to buy everything on the cheap, but if I see the exact same phone case in both Amazon and eBay, but eBay does it cheaper, then I'm gonna go for eBay. <sighs> Bronya, that's long. I don't wanna have to spend an extra three minutes looking at stores, okay? Again, I'm just trying to get the best deal possible. The next thing I do to save money is short and sweet, but I drink tap water. Because guys, bottled water can add up. And for me, I'm not even gonna lie, water is water, it just tastes the same for me. But maybe I'm just weird. In fact, guys, let me know in the comments below, do you prefer tap water or bottled water? But yeah, for me, even if you're spending just 50p on bottled water, if you're buying that every single day, it can add up. So I am content with just tap water. Yep good to go. So number 12 is that I always try to make a list before I go shopping and this is especially useful when I go food shopping because once I've made that list I know exactly what I need to buy. So then when I go to the supermarket it's just a lot easier for me to stick to it and it also stops me from overspending especially when I see snacks that I really want to buy but there's no reason for it and that's especially important when I see things like two for one offers. Remember guys if you didn't actually need it did you really get a good deal even if it was on sale? Think about that. So the next thing I do to save money is actually eating first before I even go food shopping. Now you might be thinking, how does that even save you money? But guys, the worst thing I could do is go shopping on an empty stomach. Because if you do that and you go to the supermarket whilst you're absolutely starving, you'll probably find that you end up buying everything. And you'll realize that as soon as you get back home, you've just bought all of this stuff that you don't even need. Oh, that pizza looks great. Oh, and so does the chocolate. Oh, what about those crisps? So guys, always eat before. So if you did like this video, then please do give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel. And let me know in the comments, have you tried any of these saving tips before? I do post every Tuesday and Friday, so if you would like to know more, then please do subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on Tuesday.